Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Todd Twin and I'm running late. <laughs> I am running a late. So I, I've never left the house too late, but thankfully I'm not late for real, for real, because I wanted to leave the house. Check the pizza I made, homemade, yummies. But I wanted to leave the house at four. It's currently four. But my check-in time, I just remembered. What else am I supposed to grab out of here? My check-in time isn't until 5.15. So I still have a little time, technically. So we're good, technically. I am going from Dallas to Chicago, Chicago to West Palm Beach. Also, welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. If you have, welcome back. I am Ty Twin and I am a mainline flight attendant at a major US carrier. Hi. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack up my lunch and then yeah, I'm gonna head out. Hey guys, so I made it to West Palm Beach finally. Y'all, <laughs> today was funny. So we had the earliest possible flight in the morning to Chicago and I was struggle bussing like toward the later half of that flight though. I was so sleepy. So we get to Chicago and we go to our plane, luckily it's there and it's empty. So I get on board. Ooh, y'all need to shave. <laughs> Let's just like ignore that. But yeah, I get on board and I start to take a nap. So then eventually the pilots come on and he's like, who's number one? And so the number three, he like points to me and says her. And then I open my eyes. He was like, oh, well, my name is so-and-so. The flight is this long, this and a third. And the whole time I'm looking at him like this. Like, sir, I will come and talk to you when I'm up. Let me take a nap, please. It has uh, been a long day, okay? An early day. I'm tired, I can't. Fast forward to the second fight, people bored, and it's this guy, guys. Super nice suit. It's kind of like corduroy slash suede, but it's like a burnt orange color, but the suit was so nice, y'all. Tell me why I'm doing service. I spilled a Bud Mosa, which is Bud Light and Orange Years Bud Mosa on him like i have never spilled anything like a drink for real for real on a person before like i've i've splashed a dollar of water on somebody before but never like something that can literally stain but i was like oh my god i'm so sorry hold on real quick so i grabbed the cup and i went and i grabbed a whole bunch of napkins and i wiped them up and at first he was a bit irritable luckily he wasn't mad for so long rather he was very nice about it after couple minutes I guess he realized it was an accident so he got up and came into the galley and I was telling him look we're just gonna get some club soda and wipe it down as much as we can club soda usually takes out a lot of stains so hopefully it'll do the same for you today I felt so bad I was like I'll write a report and hopefully they'll be reimbursed you for your dry cleaning so yeah I feel so bad <laughs> Eventually though, he hung up his vest and his jacket in the closet and his, of course he wasn't gonna take off his pants. But the vest had the worst bit of it. The pants looked fine once he had gotten up. They were completely dry. The jacket looked fine. The vest, it, I mean, it was visible. I, I can show y'all before and after. Other than that, the flight was really good. I was more awake on this flight, which is crazy. If anything, you would expect me to do this on the first flight where I was really tired, but no. Nope. I did it when I was more awake. Now I'm at the hotel. My crew is cool. They're all guys. And there's me. <laughs> and um, y'all, why? We in West Palm Beach. It is beautiful out here. Why did I forget a bathing suit? I'm like, come on. So instead, I have on this bodysuit, which is like bathing suit texture, honestly. So I honestly could get away with wearing this as a bathing suit. I don't think I'm going to, though, because it's white. And so I don't want to ruin it. And then I have on these little shorts and some slides. Let me go ahead and show you guys the room. I just got news from one of my flying partners like earlier today that the day we're coming back to Dallas or going back to Dallas, which is Thursday, it's supposed to be tornadoes and I'm trying to commute to Louisiana. So hopefully I can make it there before the tornadoes and stuff hit. We'll get to that. We'll touch that subject when we get there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I will show you all the room. Here's the door as soon as you come in. Here is the closet, nothing too crazy. Here is the bathroom, also nothing too crazy. Just a simple, regular bathroom. 
Here's me. You go into the room. We have a long space here, so I wonder what should have been here. I don't know. But this is my outfit. I'm really cute, I think. Green, this right here is just my color. It looks so good on me, okay? But anyway, then you have the room, two queen size bed or doubles. I don't know, I always get confused. Is this a double or a queen size bed? I don't know. And then you have a refrigerator, the TV, desk with all my junk on it, chair situation. And then guys, look at the view, it's so pretty. It's so nice out here. Also y'all, I was not planning on bringing my computer, but I brought it because I'm super motivated. One of my classmates, or not classmates, this girl I know who went to college with me, she has a YouTube. The girl has like 55,000 followers. That's amazing. Then I've been binging like Monet, and I love her. Like, she, I had to take a break, but then, you know, I had to come back, and I love her. Y'all, I think I had eczema. Ex you got eczema? <laughs> Look at these books. Look at eczema. I got what? I got eczema. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my neck be hurting. It's so dry. Like, does it look dry? Like, I feel like it looks extra, like, dark how eczema look, too. But, yeah. So I've been binging like all these creators and I love them and it's just like Ty, consistency will get you there. So you need to be consistent. You need to edit a video this trip. And so I plan on editing a video this trip and having it ready to be posted by Sunday, which is at the end of the week. It's currently Tuesday, I think. I think it's Tuesday, maybe Monday. It's Monday or Tuesday, one of those two. But yeah, I think it's Tuesday, it's Tuesday actually, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my chips and my dip and stuff from Gloria's and head downstairs and eat it by the pool. Guys, I just got back to my room. I was up at the pool with my crew. I didn't get in because I don't have a bathing suit. I had my feet in the jacuzzi or whatever and we just talked for hours and hours and hours. It was cool. They're vibes. They're really vibes, they're cool. Now I'm gonna take a shower. I wanna warm up this bean dip and I, I think i'm gonna go down after take my shower warm it up come up lay in the bed and call it a day because i need to get rid of these chips so i'm gonna do that and i'll probably see y'all tomorrow so i'll let y'all know what we do tomorrow tomorrow bye i got here we got here around two something i think the time is 5 21 y'all i'm fighting for my life and i'm trying to hurry up and edit this video because of course i forgot to bring my computer charger and yeah i don't want the computer to to die at least not before i get this uploaded to youtube but y'all this video is so short like it's short it's quick to the point i hope y'all enjoy that yeah i hope y'all like that also while we're talking about what i hope you all like I have a couple questions for y'all that I would like you to answer me. Either DM me, write in the comments, whatever the case. What would y'all like to see more of? Or do you, should I do more questionnaires? If I should, would y'all answer some or ask questions for me to do in the questionnaire? You know, just give me your feedback, your thoughts on everything. Because honestly, at the end of the day, y'all find me entertaining. But I want to know all of this because... Y'all are supporting me. Y'all are here watching me. So I need to know what is it that you all would want more of? And you know, what's some questions y'all have for me? Now, that's pretty much it. I had to go ahead and get the camera out because I had to get up because I was getting sleepy and I'm getting progressively sleepy now. So I'm gonna try and finish this video. I'm gonna go downstairs, walk around a little bit because I need to fight it off at least, at least until seven. If I can get to seven o'clock, I'll doze off, it's fine, I don't care what happens. Cause, well I don't even wanna fall asleep that quick cause I've messed around and done that before and went to sleep from like seven to 11 and then been up the rest of the night. So if I can make it to nine, that's ideal. Apparently last night I had a 19 minute conversation at 11 p.m. I don't even remember being on the phone. <laughs> if I can make it to nine, that's gonna be great. It's currently 5.24. I'm gonna finish editing this video, upload it, and then yeah, we'll go from there. 
guys it's 8 10 i'm still up i'm actually doing pretty good i did not fall asleep <laughs> i began watching youtube videos and looking things up and now i'm about to take a shower eat some of the homemade pizza i made probably do a face mask actually well i don't know because i already washed my face and put the stuff on so i don't know about that part i'm about to go ahead and take a shower and eat i'm not that hungry but I'm not trying to be too hungry when I lay down to a point to where like I want to get up and eat later. Good morning guys. It's day three of three go home day. So we love that of course. Remember how I was trying to stay up? I took that too serious because I didn't go to sleep until like 11.30, 11.45. Had to wake up at four, but I set my alarm for three. Yeah. <laughs> so today's actually a pretty easy day. We do Orlando to Austin. Unfortunately, we have an hour and a half sit, and I swore it was like 50 minutes, but we have an hour and like 24 minutes sit, and then we go Austin to Dallas. Super quick, super short flight. We're working on the 7-3 today. Remember, I am in the four cabin. That's my alarm to remind me that I need to go downstairs in 10 minutes. I could not sleep. I ended up binge watching, not even binge watching. I ended up watching the the show with Escape and SW, one episode, it's only two out, but I only watched one last night, and I was like, okay, I need to go to sleep. Then I ended up getting on TikTok though, because I was like, man, I have some braces, like I'm trying to get my teeth straight or whatever, but I knew somebody when I was at Spirit who went and got their teeth done, braces and all that in Mexico. So I was trying to find her Facebook information. Turns out I don't follow her on Facebook. <laughs> and so then I ended up going down a rabbit hole of TikTok trying to find like a good orthodontist in Mexico. Because if you didn't know, it's super way cheaper. So if anybody has heard of anybody or a dentist or an orthodontic office, orthodontist anyway office in mexico let your girl know because i've been trying to do some research research about it because by the end of the year i want to have braces start fixing my girl before i turn 30 30. <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and finish packing up and i'll probably see y'all in dallas when i'm trying to commute to louisiana hey guys so it's actually a couple days later and i'm about to start another trip like i'm on the way to the airport as we speak and i just wanted to give y'all an update on like how that trip ended so we had two legs on the last day it was a three day and we went from orlando to austin austin to dallas and if y'all don't know Ooh, I'm super washed out. But if y'all don't know, it's the sun. It's 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 getting me. I was trying to potentially catch a flight at 10:30, I think that morning, but we wasn't supposed to land in Dallas until wait. No, I think that flight left at 10:14 or something like that. But we weren't supposed to land in Dallas until 10:30. So yeah, I did not make that flight, but I wouldn't have made it even if I made it on time because there was like a lot of D1s, which is a high, higher priority standby person. And yeah, I wasn't gonna use up no D1 to go to Louisiana this early in the year when I could potentially be using it to go on vacation later this year. So yeah, that's how that went. I did, however, barely, made it on the flight to Louisiana uh, at 12.30, which is the one I originally listed for. But y'all, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. I hope y'all can hear because these two back windows are open. It was touch and go for a minute. Like, first off, I ended up getting to the gate like five minutes prior to boarding. And the gate agent asked, she's like, hey, she's just calling off the lit names on the standby list to see who all is here. Y'all, I barely made that flight. St Revenue standby, so people who had missed their flight that was booked on earlier, as so it seemed, or people who wanted to just trade to an earlier flight and they had a later flight originally booked, they were running up to the gate last minute. And the gate was like, mm -mm, you're getting on here. And I was just like, girl, oh my goodness, thank you. And it's just so frustrating as somebody who commutes and then as somebody who mainly, everybody wants this job or a job in this industry, whether it's gate agent, ramper, whoever the case, they want this job because we all get these flight benefits. Well, because 
my company no longer charges and if you didn't know now you know they no longer charge passengers to change their flights to earlier or later flights it causes an issue for non-revs so the issue is people will jump on or jump up to the gate an hour less than an hour they can be boarding and they'll jump to the gate and be like hey can you can you put me on this flight and it's just like bro that is not fair so like the flight can be wide open which that flight was the flight can be wide open and then 30 minutes before boarding next thing you know it's negative a thousand because you have 17 revenue passengers who came out of nowhere to list on the flight and so it, it just becomes a hassle for all of the people the non-revs and my company the thing that irks everybody if you're gonna not charge revenue passengers to switch flights okay that's fine that's cool and the reason that they say they do it or they won't charge again is because they're trying to stay competitive with competitors which is fine however those competitors that they're talking about they reserve positive space not positive space but they reserve seats on their flights so that their non-revs their commuters whoever they can have a chance of making these flights my company <laughs> They don't do that and i don't mm, they don't care so yeah that's that's it with that rant the girl though she was super nice the gate agent the trip itself the last two flights y'all it was a rough i ain't gonna lie orlando to austin okay so we were expecting weather that day which made everything even more like nail biter because dallas was supposed to get tornadoes and all types of weather warnings were going on and so that's why we wanted to get there early enough so me and the other guy could commute on the earlier flights which didn't happen but it's fine because i made it i'm sure he probably made it home too however Orlando to Austin, it was a smooth flight until we got to the end, y'all. It was bumpy. And I was in the front of the aircraft, so it was really turbulent, and we all assumed it was gonna be really turbulent Dallas to, or Austin to Dallas, so we didn't do service. It's, it's a no service already in the back. However, up front, I didn't do service either because it was too unsafe, and honestly, I care more about my life than slinging cokes at people. Yeah, period. <laughs> and then we had this passenger going off on like my my flight attendant number three in the front while I was help. Cause, it's just a long story, but it's, it doesn't even matter because it was like a couple days ago. But yeah, guys. So thank you for coming to this TED talk. <laughs> but no, for real. Thank you for tuning into this vlog. If you made it this far what's up drop a green christmas tree it's not christmas time but if you made it this far you a real one so drop that christmas tree okay and yeah remember like comment subscribe share the videos with your friends family let them know what let them know my daily struggle like let them see what we be up to okay okay bye